uh, the former Arsenal manager and now uh, FIFA's uh, global chief of global football development, Arsene Wenger, joins us live. Um, great to speak to you, Arsene. I'd like to actually just read you what Jack Wilshere has said about you in his statement. Um, he said, words will never do justice to the love and thanks I have for the boss, Arsene, uh, Pat Rice and Borough Premarak. Without your belief, support and guidance from the very first day we met, I wouldn't have been able to become part of the Arsenal family. I mean, he's, he's glowing in, in the influence that he had over you, but what do you make of his decision and the timing of it, Arsene, to, to call it a day now at the age of just 30? Well, for me, it's a sad moment because uh, Jack is an exceptional football player. You know, we, he is first... Uh, uh, not to thank us, but himself, because he was, had, uh, was brave, was talented, had, wasn't scared of anybody. And uh, that's why we thought that uh, he could start at such a young age. He started in 2008, so he was, he's a 92, that means he was 16 years old. And uh, that's, of course, exceptional at that level. And straight away, he has shown that he has the quality to be a main player. And he stops in, uh, in 2022, that's at 30 years of age. That's for a midfielder and a technical player. It's a fantastic age. And uh, that sums up uh, uh, a little bit what Jack career, Jack's career was. Exceptional talent, but uh, didn't play enough games because of uh, uh, injuries. And uh, that's why in the end, I think he stopped because it's very difficult when you're a star like he was, and uh, you cannot play at your best anymore. That's very difficult to swallow. And uh, you lose confidence as well. And uh, that's why I think he took the right decision. I believe as well that he has a coaching career in front of him. The fact that he couldn't go to maybe to the end of his potential might help him to be motivated to make a great coaching career. That's what I wish. Yes, I guess, you know, we, we, we haven't seen the last of Jack Wilshere. The best might yet be still to come, uh, you know, in, in his coaching career, as you say. Um, I just wonder if you can put into a bit of context, Arsene, you know, you, you've overseen the development of a lot of young players, particularly at Highbury and then the, the Emirates Stadium. What made him quite so unique? I mean, you know, he was the, the youngest Premier League debutant, a, a record that that Cesc Fabregas had held before then. When you look at him and all of his qualities yes. as a player, what, what made him quite were so two, unique? Uh, two similar plays in the way they were two midfielders. But uh, Cesc was a more distributor, uh, could unlock the game through his vision and his passes. Jack could unlock the game with more short passing, but as well unlock the game through his capacity to pass people in one against one, to turn the game forward when... Uh, you had no solutions. And uh, that's why they were the two together were two exceptional players, of course, but as well with different qualities. Jack was in a one-to-one. -one. He started as a winger at a young age, and he brought that into his midfield and uh, could pass people and unlock the game. And uh, he had as well another quality that uh, Cesc had as well. They were not inhibited. You could put Jack, uh, he, he thought it was not impressed by anybody, not scared of anybody, and uh, not faced by the big stage. He always thought that's natural for him to, to be there. Do you have any favourite Jack Wilshere memory, Arsene, or, or standout performance that, that is still etched in the mind right now? Well, I would say uh, the Barcelona games for me were always uh, special, you know, because Barcelona was referenced at the time. And... Uh, to see how we passed with players and uh, how well he performed at that level. For me, that at that time, the Barcelona team was the best team in the world, and to see him perform uh, at that level is such a, with such a quality convinced you always uh, that he's uh, part of the best in the world. And uh, uh, with England as well, he very quickly became an obvious choice, an obvious candidate. And just finally, I mean, you mentioned, you know, he, he could well now go even stronger as a coach and maybe use uh, that fire in his belly he still has to try and make up for the, I suppose, missed opportunities of his playing career. You knew him as a, as a person as well as a player. Um, so what qualities does he have personally that might well suit, uh, you know, a coaching career going forward, Arsene? First of all, he has a great understanding of the game. I feel a midfield position as well, a, a position that suits well the development of a, of a coach. After that, he's brave. He has a good communication skills. He's honest. 
and uh, he's intelligent. And uh, of all that, uh, on top of that, uh, certainly finishes his career frustrated. And uh, if he manages to transform this frustration into motivation to show how well he, how good he is in football, I think he, he uh, can have a promising footballing career as a coach. Former Arsenal manager and uh, chief of global football development of FIFA, Arsene Wenger, thank you very much indeed for being with us live here on Sky Sports News. Thank you.